People are trying to cut corners, but don't cut corner with your health. And you could win and have that beautiful old school looking body if you do the following. So I'm gonna share that with you. Hello old schooler, Samir Banud here. I'd like to talk to you about back training and how to apply intensity while training back. I have my approach. I have learned a lot from experienced champion and thank God I listened quite a bit to what some of those great have done. And thank God I didn't come in in a period like today, not to say that everyone's bad. No, I'm just saying, uh, people are kind of trying to cut corners. People are trying to cut corners, but don't cut corner with your health. And you could win and have that beautiful old school looking body if you do the following. So I'm gonna share that with you. And it's a present from Samir Banud and from Old School. Do you see? I like that. It's Old School. My favorite stuff. Having a good back is really good thing. You have to understand how to do and perform the exercise. The exercise mechanic does matter. The intensity does matter. The cooperation does matter. Again, it's like what I was talking earlier, too much medication is not necessary. And too long of a workout is not necessary. So well, let's find what works. Let's find the happy medium here. The happy medium is, first of all, get a good warm up. It doesn't matter if you want to do it with chin up or anything. Just get the blood circulating in the back muscle. And what I used to do for back is, I'm giving you just an example. First of all, let me start by saying I never did the same exact workout twice. Never have. But there are certain exercises that I kept. For example, I did like bend over row. Why? Because I felt the need of a longer lats. And I recall did a couple workout with Mike, Mike Mentor, rest in peace. Great guy, respectable, may God have mercy on his soul. Mike Mentor is someone that I really, really like. And I was around him for quite a bit, Casey Viator. And you know, my original hero in the sport of bodybuilding is Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know who he is? I think you do. Uh, I used to watch, for example, when I picked up muscle and fitness back in the days when I was 16, almost 17 years old. So look at the picture, I didn't even speak English then. Look at pictures of Arnold doing chin up, doing bent over roll, doing cable pulleys. That was motivating, really it was motivating. And then I really did look up to Arnold. Of course, Frank Zane. I stole quite a bit of exercises from Zane in Franco Colombo. And so, I know when I tell you to follow some of the things, it will help you quite a bit to develop a better back. Heavyweight is good, but not if you can't do it in control. If you cannot control the weight, don't use heavyweight. For example, when I do bend over row, I do it with my chest parallel to the ground. I don't lift my chest up and then work the upper back. I am parallel to the ground and then I hit the middle and the lower, the entire, it's, it's, you know, I wish I could show you right here, but eventually we'll, I would like to do more video and, and get you more detail. I always did like wide grip followed by close grip or medium grip, sometimes reverse grip. That's why I don't do the same exercise, the same workout twice. Controlling the weight, is very important and then really you have to you do need to push yourself to the limit in each set and surprisingly i said it before i don't count reps who said i'm gonna fail at number eight or number ten reps who so think about it sometimes i may fail at 
eight reps, sometimes at 12, 14, but when you have them heavy weight enough that you are controlling, I'm sure it should be, the number should be between eight and 15 approximately. But honestly, I do not count reps. Nobody says, oh, three by 10, one, two, three, and then I feel good when I'm 10. That means drop the weight and stop? No, then you're not training with intensity. Intensity means push the muscle and activate the muscle fibers. And if you have weakness in certain area of your back, you can target it. And I've been in so many seminars where I see kids and like, what are you doing? Bent over all up, wrong. Not just that, I see them performing chest where the elbow's right here. How? How you treat? You, the mechanic is so important. You need to be precise. You need to train with precision. Find your weakest spot. Sometimes doing a priority to the weak body part. It's smart. Activating the muscle with high intensity. You know, all of these things are needed. Even time in your nutrient, how to make that muscle grow. Everything apply. But when it comes to back training, again, I normally do like no more than four exercises. I could be doing uh, chin up, some workout, followed right away with close grip chin up. I go up and lock, lock, flex in your mind. Where's your mind? Your mind is on your muscle, right? Right, nobody around you. There's people around you, but you can't see, you're blind. Your head is in your back and you train your back with intensity. Intensity, you hear me? Don't forget that. Not how long you train, it's how you train, right? I tell people, okay, well, you know, you wanna go in the ring with Mike Tyson? Why should you go 10 rounds? If you knock him out quick, you know, in other words, don't, it's not the length of the workout. I've been working with a kid who's, uh, uh, he's a, electric engineer, um, um, you know, airplane man, mechanic, whatever, in, in mechanical engineer. And he just moved uh, over here from the East Coast. And he was coached by someone. And then I told him, I said, if you listen to everything to the T, and A, B, C is going to happen. And he goes, okay, Samir, I hear you anyway. Started with me, 178 pounds. Right now, he's over 200. In fact, he was 209 recently. And you know what? He just trained hard and didn't overtrain. And so I'm doing this in stages. Allow your body to recuperate. Don't keep going on and on. I tell people, if you're going from LA to New York and you landed, you landed, just get out, go eat, recuperate. But you know, if you'd make your trip from LA to New York, five hours taking DC 10, <laughs> I don't mind you taking Mach 10 and get to New York in three hours. So the purpose of the workout, the intensity, get you there quick, but hit your target. The target what? If you want to hit your upper back, then we'll do things to target the upper back. Lats, the center of your back, lumbar region. You just do three, four exercises. Go home, recuperate, train hard, go home. 20 minutes, 25 minutes, back. That's it. The next workout you can come back and do back. You can do two different exercises other. I mean, you may wanna grab heavy dumbbells, one arm dumbbells. Okay, and then you want to do a cable pulley, but with a grip reverse. In the previous workout, I did, re did cable pulley was grip on top. And then I'm doing it like that. Then sometimes I grab that same pulley with wide grip. So in order to activate the muscle from all angles, you have to make some changes. Okay, even believe me, when you go from here to here, there's a difference. The way you position your hand to contract the feeling. You've got to feel it to believe it. So this is what, I, what it is about back. Okay, focus, not too long, intense. The workout should be done in 25 minutes. If you train more, let's say your back or just, you're not doing it right. 
okay? In the line of Lebanon, telling you, get your ass to the gym, train smart, hard, but smart.